Okay, so I just crossed the 20,000 mile mark. That's where I'm at right now. So far, so good. Very little problems. Uh, the transmission is done. It's completely done. I'm still driving it, but I mean, really can't go over 70 at this point. So pretty much the nag one can't take it. You know, it just can't take it. It could take it. So, but I mean, got 20,000 on it, on the nag one. So definitely gonna be replacing that. The HP Hellcat transmission. I also have a manual. Not sure which one I want to put in it, but more than likely it's going to be the uh, automatic. And uh, I'm just going to see how long I can keep that one without it breaking. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like it driving it. It shifts normally, but it's a serious vibration going on. You know, it's, it's done. It's done. So uh, I'll be replacing it. And switch it, switch it to a stronger transmission. But I mean, for all the races I've been in and the hard pulls, I can say that I really uh, got a lot out of it. Twenty thousand miles. This is twenty thousand hard miles I put on a Nag One five speed transmission. But you know, it's pretty much done, and uh, just be moving on from that point. Also, the V six Challenger. That's coming soon. That's almost finished. Give it another two, three months. As you can see it's winter time, so not a lot of work getting done right now. But uh, eventually it'll be finished. But as far as the drive train goes, everything is cool. It's just, you know, the nag one. It's just not holding up like it used to. Just can't do it. It's a big difference in how it rides. But, uh, it's done pretty well. So on to the next swap. Doing Hemi Purple swap. Basically, I'm done with that. Just tuning. Getting the tuning issues. Once that's done, we'll be getting this car back. So I'll be doing videos on that soon. But yeah, I just hit the 20,000 mile mark since I swapped the Hellcat. It's been, what, a year and six months to be exact. I started June, well, I finished June 2020, and we're here in December 21, so a uh, year and a half, 20,000 miles on it. Smooth, smooth sailing. Had a few uh, fuel injectors go out on me, which caused misfires, but other than that, you know, that's minor. That's it. I think it was the gas that I put in it because it ran bad and then eventually the uh, injectors just went completely out. Other than that, the misfires changed the plugs. Did that about 3,000 miles ago, so that's about 17,000 when I did that. And you may be able to hear the transmission rumble. So, you know, it's done. It's completely done. So I can't really put any stress on it. You know, every once in a while I give it a nice little burst, but other than that, you know, I'm pretty easy on it. It's just, it's a blow because of the time of year. Like, you know, you don't mind doing this stuff in the summer, but the winter. It's like, man, not really into changing the transmission, but gonna have to do it. So I'll get it done. And we're on from there. That's where I'm at.